So in this video, um, I've taken I've taken the Unreal Four mannequin, exported it out of Unreal Four as an FBX file, and then we imported it into Maya. Um, I also went ahead and characterized it, and I made an Unreal Four T pose. Um, Close for it. Now, uh, there are a couple things that you should know about this skeleton and other skeletons that are similar. So, first of all, this has uh, fingers and hands. Um, we're only characterizing the hands, so fingers and hands are not characterized because our, our motion capture data doesn't have that. It's just the hands. Another thing, if we zoom in here, I'm going to go over to the channel box. So if I select, you notice that there's two joints here over the top of each other. So I select this first one, it's upper arm left. And if I select the second one, it's upper arm twist 01 left. So this joint, this twist joint, it's generally meant to, well, it's not generally, it's always meant to help with deformation uh, in shoulders and thighs and forearms. Because this is a mannequin and it's just one, you know, it's just made up of uh, solid pieces. We don't really have to worry about it. <clears throat> But this twist joint is a child of the upper arm joint. And so back in Human IK, if I were to select right there, it's going to select the, um, well, I can actually hover over it here. It's going to select the, oh, let's just look at it. So it's, it's got the upper arm left, not the twist joint. Okay, so you just need to be careful, select the actual upper arm joint and not the associated twist joints. Uh, this is also a twist joint here on the thighs, so you need to select these. Okay, it's just kind of an FYI. So, uh, he's characterized. And I'm going to save him out as UE4 man. So, in this particular file, I've got the Unreal Man 4 rig. Now, this was uh, rigged using an auto rigger that a former student wrote. Um, so, what you'll do is you'll make a character definition for the skeleton and then what you'll do is make a character definition for a custom rig. So this skeleton is uh, an IK rig skeleton. Uh, what IK means is if we um, now, if you don't see this right here, this is your selection mass. I'm going to turn everything off except for uh, curves, and these controllers are curves. 
So if I select the foot control there, and if I move it, it's going to move the entire leg. And everything follows along. And then I can rotate this control as well to rotate the foot. And this controller here, if I move it, it controls the uh, twist. Okay, so when I move things around, I always hit the Z key to make sure that I put it back uh, at its origin. Same thing for the hand. You can move and position the hand, uh, orient it, and you can, this is the twist on the elbow. So the elbows and the knees kind of point at these uh, pull vector controls is what they're called. Okay, so I'm going to hit Z to undo all that. Now these, this control here, um, it's going to let me move the character back and forth. And you can see that IK is locked. Now it's got some stretchiness on it, uh, but the weighting, it, it, it's not, I uh, wouldn't call this 100% complete as far as a rig goes. So you can stretch it out, but you wouldn't want to because uh, everything isn't quite set up for that. So when, when you're animating, you want to take care in this particular rig to uh, stretch it out. Okay, and so this master control also rotates the hips. And then there's just a hip rotation control here. And these uh, are what you'd call FK controls, where you just rotate them and they only rotate the uh, the selected part. Now over here in defining a custom rig, these uh, circles, if you attach these, they're generally going to work with IK. Uh, so you've got circles and then you've got sticks um, and these would be more like FK. So for instance, uh, that's kind of backwards uh, where you select the controller first and then um, the uh, mapping. So I'm going to right click, say assign selected effector. Now here I've got a toe, toe rotation. So I'm going to right click on here, assign selected effector, and I'm just going to ignore that. Right click, assign selected effector, grab this, assign selected effector, and I'm going to ignore that. Now for the uh, pull vector controls, um, I'm going to select that, right click, assign selected effector, ignore locked. Um, and this won't work if you hit the line. You need to actually select the uh, control. Assign selected effector and lock. Now I don't need to assign the legs because they go along for the ride uh, with IK. Let's grab the main hip joint, right click, assign selected effector. The arm. And this doesn't have a, a secondary control like the foot did, so right click, assign selected effector, so I don't need to assign that part. So 
select, right click, assign selected effector, ignore lock, select, right click, assign, Now let's go down to the spine, double click. All right, let's select that one first, and then right click that, assign selected effector. Now, if you had more spine joints than what is there, um, just use the ones that you have. I don't usually like to put a lot of joints in uh, game characters. Okay, so right here, that is the clavicle control. If I had some sort of an IK uh, solution at the shoulders where I could move the shoulders around I would select that but I don't so I'm so I won't um, let's go down to the neck and then up to the head okay so I now have a U4 custom rig created. And before I save this out, um, you can also make poses with the controllers. Okay, so I'm, I turned off everything and I just turned on the nerves controller so we can select all the controllers. And I can say pose to shelf. So I'll call this uh, U4 G T P. So Funeral 4 Rig T pose. Okay, so deselect that, and now I'm going to save the rig map mapping. And I'm going to save this out as um, UV4 man rigged. So now I've got the all of my uh, skeletons that I will be using. Um, I've got them characterized. And now I can start editing motion. 